Hello, Noble Knitter, it's Nancy Queen. Are you ready to up your knitting game? Do you know that there are mistakes that beginners make that experts don't make because they know some tips and tricks that will help you become a better knitter? These are five things experienced knitters do that beginner knitters don't know about. So you're gonna love these tips because they're gonna make your knitting look so much better. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. The number one tip that I have for you today is experienced knitters know that they need to make a gauge swatch. Now a gauge swatch is simply a square of fabric that you knit using the recommended yarn, stitch pattern, and needle size shown in the pattern. This will ensure that your pattern, that your project fits the way, you, the way that you want and has the intended outcome that you want it to have. It's a step the beginner knitters want to skip because it takes them so much longer to knit something in the beginning that they just want to jump right past that step. But it's essential to a project fitting properly. The second thing that experienced knitters do that the beginners don't is experienced knitters don't knot their yarn. When you finish your knitting, it's finished. You just need to have enough yarn to weave in the yarn ends, but it's fastened off. It's not gonna go anywhere. But beginner knitters feel like they need to put a knot in that yarn to make it more secure. But I tell, I'm telling you, you're gonna have a much cleaner, more polished look with the ends woven in properly if you don't knot your yarn. The third thing that experienced knitters do that beginners don't is that they buy an extra skein of yarn if they're making a larger project. Let's say you're knitting a baby blanket, a sweater, uh, a shawl. Having that extra skein is going to allow you to make sure that the project fits the way you want and you have that extra bit of yarn to know that if you've come up close short you can finish the project that you want. And most yarn shops will take back the yarn as long as it's it's a completely unopened skein with the label still intact. You can return or exchange the yarn and pick out something new or just have that yarn in your stash and use it for a stash busting project. The fourth thing that experienced knitters do that beginners don't, they use the correct yarn weight and needle size suggested in the pattern. So when someone designs a pattern, they've gone to a lot of work to make sure that your project is going to come up looking the way it should because they're telling you exactly the type of yarn they used and the needles. And you're going to work up a gauge like I talked about in point number one to make sure that it's working, but you can't just say, well, I know this was on a 10 needle, but I only have an eight here. So I'm just gonna use the eight needle. And I know that it calls for a sport weight yarn, but I have a bulky, so I'm gonna do that and think that it's gonna come out right. It's not, you're, you're using completely the wrong materials. You need the right yarn and the right needles suggested in the pattern. Now that does not mean that you have to use exactly the same yarn because yarns change over all the time, but you wanna get the right weight and you can check the link here for my yarn weight calculator that will tell you where the yarn weight falls. You can look at the back of the label and it will tell you the right weight. I have a skein here. It will give you the, the Craft Yarn Council yarn weight number. You wanna match that to whatever the pattern says. So if it says it's a DK weight yarn or a sport, this is a sport weight yarn, a number two, you wanna find a number two sport weight yarn. Try to get as similar to the fiber as possible. So this, for example, is a Merino wool, baby alpaca, and mulberry silk. Well, if you were looking for a, um, a merino wool or a merino wool blend that's sport weight, that would work equally well for your project. The fifth thing that experienced knitters know to do, the beginners don't, is to write down where you are in a knitting project. I can't tell you how many times myself or someone I know that would come into my yarn shop couldn't figure out where they were in the project. And when you're in the middle of the project, you think, I'll never forget where I am. I know I've been knitting this thing for the past three hours. I know exactly where I am in the project. I'll never forget. Guess what? You leave the project for even an hour or a day or a week. You come back to it and it is so confusing to figure out where you are. I've wasted days, 
weeks trying to figure out where I am in a project. It's really frustrating and especially if you're a beginner because you want to be able to have success and dive right into that project and get on to knitting. So if you go ahead and just write down, you know, have a little notebook that you keep with your knitting or a notes pages on your phone where you write down the name of the pattern and then you just say, I'm on row whatever and you know on row 63 and this is the stitch pattern I'm working. There are even some little notepads that you can get that tell you where you are in your knitting project. In fact I'll put a link to those in the description below and you just keep it with your knitting. You paper clip it to the pattern and you won't get lost. You'll save yourself so much time and energy and frustration if you keep that handy. So I hope you've enjoyed these tips. I'll see you in the next video.